I woke up in the morning, saw a, a DM from Northern Lion. He said, what are we going to do this week? Isaac race? I said, I'd love to. And then he opened up a little package. On the outside, it said NACL, also called sodium. He says, hey, have you ever heard of something called freeze technique? And he sent me this video from an MLB It's called, it's called the Beat the Freeze. Beat the Freeze, a hot dog runs around, tries to catch the bun, but the bun has like a five minute head start. He's like, yeah, we could do it like this. I'll give you a five minute head start and then I'll catch up and beat you. And I said, no, thank you, sir. I'll beat you straight up. And he said, well, 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 I don't think you can do that. I didn't say that. I, you know, I, I don't mind leaking the DM in that situation to avoid. No, this. don't leak it because there's other information. I, I didn't no, say I that. Put but it on screen, but... Uh, okay, okay. Yeah, you can leak it. <laughs> I believe I, I was talking about beat the freeze. And then you said, I'll beat you straight up. I did rep reply LMAO in all caps, so I can yes, say. <laughs> well, how do you want me to take that? Then I said, we can do that too. It's possible for sure you're no slouch. That's a nice, that's a nice thing to say. Yeah, but you're, you're, that's like you're doing PR cleanup 101. You just spilled like, uh, you know, cranberry juice all over the streets. And you're like, hey, yeah, it was an accident. You know, it, it was it was just, hey, I acknowledge I have played more of the game. I have more familiarity with it for sure. So I thought it was some bravado that you would want to do it straight up instead of like a beat the freeze style. Mm. However, I, I, I acknowledge that I'm the favorite, but I also acknowledge that, hey, man, in life, you know, every once in a while, Luke Skywalker manages with no targeting computer to shoot the photon torpedoes right into the exhaust port of the Death Star. <laughs> or you could get your nose broken in an NBA playoff game and instead of crying about it and going, you know, getting a plastic mask, you, you duke it out, you throw your body on the line, you get a 0.9 second alley-oop to DeAndre Ayton, and you win the playoff game. C can I tell you um, yeah. that until yesterday... Yeah. I thought Ben Simmons and Ben Wallace were one guy. Mm. I, I <laughs> thought he just had... <laughs> Some may say their shooting ability is similar. But... I thought that it was just one guy who had been playing basketball for like like 27 <laughs> years. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't like... I, I don't think I've ever seen photos of them. I've only heard their name. So I was just like, man, Ben Simmons is still playing, huh? I remember he, he won the championship with Detroit in like 2004. That's crazy. <laughs> we did. I'll tell you what. I was driving yesterday and I had YouTube TV audio playing in my car for the lottery pick. Oh, yeah. And the yes. Pistons had a 14% chance to get the number one pick when they got it. I, I mean, I had like, <laughs> I had like meme vein bulge screaming in my car Yo, at a red it's light. so good, though. You know? um, but... So from lottery picks to lottery picks. So I, we can do this on a seed because chat's worried that you have more unlocks than me. I agree. I think a well, seed makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Can we just can we just make up a seed and just see what happens? You should just you, start one is whatever character you want to be. I I would honestly say like Isaac makes the most sense just because then like the when you d6 or don't d6 adds yeah. a little extra like variance for your personal play style in there. Okay. But what if I just want to type in a seed just because it's going to sound funny? Like Medusa fights Icarus Angels? You could just start like a run with the... If, you, if you're worried about fairness and no, that's I the reason that fairness, you want to do a Chad, seeded run, then maybe instead of having one participant choose a seed, you should let the random number generator do okay, it. Okay, here, here, are you ready? Tell me if you're ready for it. You ready um, for it? Okay, I am ready. Willy Billy Dilly One Illy Six Zed Tilly Killy. I think I got it. Okay. WBD16ZTK. Uh, Z is zero. Oh, okay. Zilly, of course. Yeah. Zilly is, is zero, <laughs> not Z. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. I think I'm. I think I'm ready. Are we staying? You want to stay on hot mic for this? Um. You tell me. What do you think? So I. I. I how about how about just BM check-ins for the first race? I don't know. Honestly, we can stay on mic. Chat's saying yes, 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 yes. Okay. I don't, I don't want to deprive them of that. Okay. All right. You you can give us a three, two, one, go. All right. Three, two, one, go. What direction did you go? Uh, I just hit the space bar on hard, but oh, oh, it's beat, beat the freeze is active. 
No, no, no <laughs> yeah, pizza freeze. Yeah, he got me. He started a second early. Now it's time to, to start running oh, that, him down. That's part of it, too, is one, if I win, I don't want to win. Of course, with, yeah. You know, with gold pine resin. You know, internally, but also externally. You know? I've been... I, I, it was on my mind because I've been watching this... Uh, I've been watching this uh, Netflix trivia show called The Chase, where essentially, like, uh, three people who are pretty good at trivia go up against one guy who's, like, insanely good at trivia. And mm -hmm. uh, over the course of the show, they start making uh, progress. Like, they, every question they get right puts a number on the board. Then at the end of the game, the, the guy who's a trivia god has, like, two minutes to answer that many questions correctly. Mm -hmm. uh, and catch up with them and it's just is really engaging watching them uh like just just lose basically <laughs> and like w watching them try their hardest and then just like one guy just like you see the number like slowly getting closer and closer and closer and then like you know they're like who played the uh, the voice of the computer in the spike jones film her and he's just like Sh Scarlett Johansson, and then it's just over. There's like no fireworks or anything. They're just dead. So that was a, is that the same thing that was in the back channel about the Star Wars trivia? Someone posted. Did you see that clip? Uh, was like, I, I did not. The you didn't see it. It was like it was like a Star Wars trivia, and someone's like, "Who was the pilot that was the, the third wing to Luke?" And someone's like, "Wedge Antilles." Well, I'm I was like, Congratulations, say, Wedge Antilles. Yeah. Um, real quick too, the, the end destination is streamer room, correct? Streamer yeah, room. Yeah, let, let's make sure okay. this it's just chess. Yeah. Because I was gonna say like, uh, there's ground rules that probably don't need to be said, but like just for edge cases maybe. Like if we ever do like a beat the freeze style thing, you can't just go to the Eddie room <laughs> and then like <laughs> <laughs> teleport straight to the dark room. <laughs> like, that would be. I like that strategy. It, it's a funny idea. Don't get me wrong. That was the first thing that popped into my head is is how would this guy try to use a loophole to to get ahead of the situation not that you would need to but if the chance uh afforded itself you never would you know. not but is the taking a loop well that's good so that's like there's ground rules right i think so yeah i think but it's shovel it's good shovels happen. not ground rules i, I think the shovel is fine i think i think yeah. if you get the shot you want to give up your space bar uh spot for a shovel, then then by all means. Where are you at right now? Just quick avionics check. I'm uh, I'm basement two. Okay. How about you? Did you bomb the boss? What did you do? Uh, I did. I did. Uh, you want to okay. you want to talk about like some of the items you have available? I wouldn't be surprised if we got some differences already. Oh, I wouldn't be surprised about it either. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Oh, we should have rolled it. We didn't have. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. Sorry. Um, okay. I, I I took I took the path less traveled. You took the old path? No. I. I was, um, are you insane? <laughs> I I beat the boss. And did you go in the curse room? Uh, I I don't recall. You're talking about in oh. the second floor? No, you're already off the second floor. No, I'm still on second oh. floor. Oh. No, I'm talking firsty. Oh, okay. So you didn't, because the, the the curse room took you to the devil deal. Oh, did it? Yeah. So now I have brimstone. What? I don't believe him. Well, you know what? If if it's true, you just gotta put in a little uh, little extra smoke on him here. So here's my question for you: Would yeah. you skip an item room to get ahead? Uh, yes, I would. Okay. Did I? Yes, I did. If I did it, here's how I would have done it. Okay. What are your I was gonna say, what are your thoughts on <laughs> OJ Simpson? <laughs> <laughs> you do we've been talking a lot about OJ on the stream lately, so Really? Mm, it what, comes up now and then. What what are your thoughts on Orenthal James? Is that his first name? Orenthal? Mm, Orenthal? That's a good question. I don't I don't have an answer for that one. Um I, I think that's right though. I think it's a, it's bad optics um to get acquitted of murder and then write a book that was like I didn't do it but if I did it here's how I would have killed my wife <laughs> it's I, not funny I, but I, I, not fu I, I think it's one of the, let's just call it perhaps one of the most tone deaf moves in history if the man's actually uh, innocent of the crime to be because mm -hmm. you just imagine like imagine 
you went through the most traumatic ordeal you could ever think possible. Your wife got murdered, okay? For one. Secondarily, you got falsely accused of it, dragged through, you know, incredibly long, stressful court proceedings, expensive. Everybody in the world has an opinion on you about, uh, you know, whether or not you actually did this thing that in this hypothetical situation you didn't do. And then afterwards, you're, you're like, ah, you know what I would do now? Just write a book about, like, what if I did it? What, what if I, all that stuff that ruined my life? I didn't do it, but like if I actually did it, I got. Here's how I would have. Does it? It just strikes me as something that uh, you probably. It, it wouldn't occur to me. I, I think I would be like, "Thank God that's over. Now I will never leave my house again." Yeah. I probably wouldn't write a book about, like, you know, if I killed my spouse. Would you have sold your Heisman Trophy? Uh, I mean, to, to cover legal fees, I, I suppose you got to do what you got to do, right? Hmm. That's fair. I mean, what else? I, I'll, I mean, I don't know what else you're going to do. Would you have sold your Heisman Trophy? Um, I wouldn't be in that situation. <laughs> okay, <the first> <laughs> that's, I wouldn't be in that situation either. Well, you didn't say that. I you didn't say that. I wasn't good enough to play American college uh, football. <laughs> Maybe Canadian, but... <laughs> All right, what room are you in? I'm on the boss of the third floor. What direction was that boss? <laughs> <laughs> it's worth a shot, you know? It's like sometimes you, you're playing football and you ask ask the other player across from you, is the, is the play coming this way? And if they're yeah. feeling cocky, they say, yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah, they think, yeah, like you if gotta, they think they can steamroll you. You gotta coach that out of them. That's, uh, you never give away something like that for free. Let me tell you, Champions of Fire 1, I was a Crossy Road superstar. Because I did the research and I knew that of the permitted characters, Aladdin uh, had a much easier level than any of the other characters available. So in, if your average score as Mickey Mouse was like, you know, 70, your average score as Aladdin would be like 300. <laughs> then after I the, remember that. After yeah. the first round, they interviewed me and they were like, what's your secret? And I was like, well, you got to play as Aladdin. And then everyone was like, ah, and I was like, oh, oh no, <laughs> <laughs> what was I, what was I thinking? Did you, uh, would you do that in chess tournaments too? I'm going to move my queen <laughs> no. seven to the bishop three. I, I was very serious about my, my chess gameplay. When you did that, was there a physical timer? Yeah. Like where you most, slapped, slapped the clock? Most times, yes. That's kind of cool. It's very, dude, chess timers are like ubiquitous in chess tournaments. Would they're always the same? They're always there. Oh. Because otherwise, like, what it, like, if you're playing a tournament and you only have, uh, you know, five hours or six hours to get through five games, how do you guarantee that the games are going to be over in time? Use your Casio watch, the calculator watch. Did you have one of those? Yeah, but who, how do you determine who? Because you, you know what happens is that it's like magic. In Magic the Gathering, if your game goes to time, you get five extra turns in order to finish it. Otherwise, it ends up in a freaking draw. I'm sure it happens all the time. People are at Magic. They're playing against somebody who, like, doesn't know the rules. They take 20 minutes for each turn. And then what? they're... Why they're are you picking on us? Why are you <laughs> picking on me? <We're> <laughs> then the judge is like, oh, you guys are on turns now. And you're like, well, mathematically, I can't even finish this game off. So I just, <laughs> I, I get in a draw with somebody who sucks at the game because of the fact that they were slow. I'm telling you, chess clocks, they would, they, they solve problems in games like that. Did you prefer the chess clock with the button or with like the on off light switch? Um, I, I had, here's how much of a nerd I was. I had, uh, at least one of each. I might, I might have had a couple of the buttons. I, I definitely. You bring your own clock? Yeah, I mean, they're pretty... Oh, I didn't know that. Mo it depends on the tournament. But, like, most of these... Uh, like, chess is not generating a ton of money at, like, the local level. So, I, <laughs> it's I not? you know, each each clock being, like, 30 or 40 bucks or something like that, you know, it adds up for, like, a local chess club. I the, the Nothing beats the, the old school, like, bell button, though, for sure. But I, I had a couple light switch ones, no doubt. You pref So you preferred, like, the single... LED button deal? Uh, n no, like the, um, 
the old school like brass looks almost like a brass nail that you hit. Oh, that's, that's the ticket right there. That's got to be somewhat defeating if you're playing chess and you put the push the button down and oh. it makes the other person's button go up. Yeah, and you know, you're watching the flag. It, 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 <laughs> it's like the, the second hand is on the flag and you're like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> So have you ever, did you ever time someone out in real life? It, it happens, yeah. But it, it normally, it, it doesn't happen too much in like classical chess. Uh, it's classical. You know, like longer time controls. Usually at that point, you, you don't get flagged, which is the, <laughs> that's the parlance. You don't get flagged that much in classical just because of the fact that you got like two hours to see it coming. So if anything, you just uh, resign faster. Um, but in in like blitz and uh, and rapid and and bullet, it happens all the time. Time out, city. Oh yeah, I mean you're familiar. Yeah, that's how I win all my <laughs> chess games. Are you done with chess for a while? Ooh, did you go in the D six room? Uh, I don't know. What floor are you on? Uh, water level. You you went in the all path? No. Oh, fl you're on the flooded caves. Yeah. Oh, Are you I'm, plus one I am me? also on the flooded, uh, the flooded caves. Still? Uh, I, don't get cocky. We're only what 10 do, minutes oh. and, and 29 seconds in here. What are you trying to say? Oh, you hit me with the still. That's, that's like, thanks for, or congratulations on your second place finish. I didn't say that. <laughs> I said congrats <laughs> on your silver. I was, yesterday, I, you know, I, I'm not going to lie. It crossed my mind yesterday. But throw not, some BM into the mix. Well, once, well, once you were streaming that D and D game, and I saw, <laughs> I saw the reaction to it. I'm like, I could post, go into my iPhone and post the silver metal emoji. Mm, okay, yeah. You know, but I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, I better not. <laughs> honestly, in in some situations, uh, it wouldn't annoy me, but it could like get yeah. under my skin. Yeah. But like that one, I, I lost like so obviously fair and square that I was like, I, I'm happy with my second place, honestly. Yeah. I, was, I wasn't too perturbed. But after Champions of Salt, when you get, you know, voted out by your friends, uh, and then if you had come in and pasted a, a, pasted a third place like bronze emoji, I might have been like, you know what? I'll just, I'm going to compartmentalize that one for now and we'll deal with it. We'll deal with that at a later date. <laughs> I won't forget it. I, you're not going to get a reaction, but I won't forget it. That's kind of one of those deals. <laughs> it's more like I'm going to I'm going to as a result of our friendship, I'm going to let that one pass. <laughs> and like hopefully it doesn't happen again. Otherwise, maybe then we'll address it. I feel like that's a key to life. If you give something like 12 to 24 hours to simmer, like it's not even hot the next day. Could, you know, couldn't agree more. Honestly, there was this uh, there's this philosophy. <laughs> philosopher on tiktok mm -mm. yeah joe rogan okay <laughs> no it wasn't joe rogan but there's this philosopher on tiktok and um he had two pop bottles okay and he shook up one pop bottle he shook them both up two pop bottles equally so he's kind of like i remember socrates used to do this yeah this, this, and he took it, this from from ancient greece if i remember correctly and uh, he opened up one and it sprayed everywhere like that, you know, that um, the lady who elderly. Does yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then he waited like, you know, another 10 seconds and then opened the other one and it didn't explode. And he said, life is like a shaken up pop bottle. Let it simmer and you don't get angry. Okay. I'm like, oh, you know what? look at that. That makes sense. Yeah. I think, Are you on the uh, 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 yeah, I can't. I'm on the dank depths one now. I uh, I think the people on the internet are uh, insane. <laughs> you ever like see those threads on Reddit? Probably not, because I think you're less terminally like online than I am. But there's these subreddits like r slash relationships where they'll just literally like anytime <laughs> anyone has a dispute with their partner, so many of the comments are like, um, "Yeah, you guys should like definitely break up." It's <laughs> it's so disrespectful that like you're wife ate your leftovers from the fridge <laughs> when she was like super hungry and had to uh eat right away to like you know go to her grandfather's wake or something like that um like that you should be with somebody who like respects your time more than that and i'm like what if instead of that you just like um 
got over it, I guess, and like <laughs> recognize that like people do things all the time that if you ask other people what their thoughts are on it, they'd be like, well, I wouldn't have done that. And, uh, you know, you just kind of hope that it comes out in the wash, right? <laughs> do you ever play like fire extinguisher on that subreddit and like say that? No, I, I would never post anything unrelated to my own stream on, uh, <laughs> on my Reddit account. Plus, like, posting on Reddit is like, what are you trying to accomplish? Yeah. Uh, well, let me ask you this, because you have to feel like you're more, you're like level 10 Reddit, I'm like level 6. Okay. Um, so, I've, I've, told, I've told this story before, I'm not going to rehash it, but I found the photo of the student um, oh, yeah, yeah. who made that that orange creation yeah and i'm i want to i want to farm up votes to the moon on that <laughs> one i'm gonna i'm gonna give him credit i don't know where the kid is anymore but i'll put his name on it where would you post that r slash images um r, r, r slash next freaking level really i think that's where you want it r slash next freaking level okay and then what would the the the, the real tight bait title be i made the insane US. gaming uh student makes one student in my class has been silent all year <laughs> you gotta you gotta build a story right he <laughs> never talks to anybody one day i see him in the lunchroom and look at the and his father um <laughs> you, you know you just <laughs> you can figure it out for yourself there so, something based on on this to some degree <laughs> What um what's the origin story of your um Reddit name? Uh I posted uh it was like an April Fools thing, I think. Like it it's uh I was making a joke in like an April Fools Day thread or something. So I say it's opposite day. You know. What was the joke? I have I mean this is like 11 years ago or something like that. It's a long time ago. I have no memory whatsoever. What's what's I the mean. what's the origin of? Uh, I, you always say I mean like it, like someone not remembering a, a, an inconsequential. You remember everything. I don't. I came second in the trivia show. This guy always assumes like, oh hey, what'd you have for breakfast like uh, on March the twelfth, nineteen ninety seven? And you're like, oh I don't remember. And he's like, I mean, why are you hiding the information? I mean, some may call you a intellectual memorical savant. What is uh, memorical? The act of memory. <laughs> oh, of course, my mistake, my mistake. Yeah. What do you think I meant? What are you at, by the way, right now? Um, in in uh, run terms. Mom's fight. What? Okay, it's good. You know, I got to step it up a little bit. Where are you at? Uh, not at the mom's fight close i would say i would say i could be close oh let's go prop bet real quick by the way who's gonna win this we should do that earlier me or ryan i, I want to see the odds well the odds now are they should look a little bit more in your favor honestly you're ahead and you have you, you have a higher y intercept and you also have a higher uh rate of uh of increase mm, this is not like technology Mm, I would I would say it would take like a miracle at this point for me to for me to. Boy, catch are, up. are you taking into account all potential X, Y, Z, and <laughs> derivative factors? Um, I don't There's know. There's something called called. Have you ever heard of something called play action? I don't know. Well, I have I have heard of play action. Yeah. Can I ask you, like, from a specific sense, how would one uh, perform a play action uh, in uh, the Binding of Isaac? That, well, I, you know you, what I could do? I yeah. could tell you that I was on the mom fight, but actually, I'm not on the mom fight. <laughs> well, you could, you play action to the running back. It looks like he's got the ball all of a sudden. Whoop! Mm. Uh, oh, James so on the chest. And, yeah. Oh, oh. Have you ever <laughs> seen the video of of Soldier Boy? Oh, by the way, I took the wrong. Um, I took the wrong item on the mom fight. When you I already was fought there mom ten minutes ago. Yeah, when I was there. Um, oh. Any, any chance we could have a gentleman's arrangement to pivot this to uh, a chest fight instead of a streamer room? Are you play-actioning me? I'm not play-actioning you. Well, you'd have to ask your chat. I mean, the binding rules say that... You know, the, the I'm realizing now why I got so much credit on, uh, on Schooled. 
<laughs> I mean, the the, the the job of school was, hey, you know, just, uh, Wait, when, just when I got get a to question the wrong, line. get and the grandma nuts house. And you're like, well, I'm not at grandma nuts. I want to go to Larry Licorice's. I'm like, well, when I got a question wrong and, and didn't try to uh, weasel out of it, people were like, this is the most honorable man I've ever seen on this platform. But is it honorable if you make a mistake and then ask for the rules? Um. Well, here's what I would say. You can go to the chest if you want. I think my expectation is chat would say, if anything, the dark room is actually harder. Uh, it's a harder path to take than the cathedral. So I don't mind putting myself at a little bit of a disadvantage. I, I'll, um, I'll go gentleman's agreement. Oh, you know, okay. I I will say whatever the dark room ending is, that's fine. I am not going to pivot there because I want the pogs of the streamer room. That's understandable. You know, I understand, hey, you're running a marathon and... You made a wrong turn. You had to. Yeah, they're know, not gonna deactivate my chip just because I ran longer. Right. Oh, he he cheated by adding an extra mile into the marathon. No, I'm cool with that. All right, all right. But I, for some reason, I thought it was shorter. Maybe mm. just because I'm better at that path. You think so? <laughs> no, I, I, I couldn't even like, tell you what the dark path is. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if anybody's better at fighting Satan than Isaac. That's uh. Um, I, I will say as well, if, if this run went streamer room, 0% chance I'd die. No. If it went dark room, the chance is non-zero. It's probably probably in the low double digits. So now, the only oh, my only issue with this is that if we win this, is there going to be an asterisk? I, I, I think if, if you beat me, there would be no asterisk on this whatsoever. There might be an asterisk uh, in insane people's heads if I beat you, because by taking the negative instead of the Polaroid, I got like a 0.8 damage increase instead of some, some oh, temporary okay invincibility. Um, I've only got two words to say to those people. Redacted, redacted. Re redacted grass. How long is redacted? <laughs> I feel like until, uh, until I... Until Star Citizen came out, mm. redacted wasn't a word. Why are they using um, redacted in Star Citizen so much? Was it like, hey, we went, we meant to add in uh, all these new features, but Chris Roberts spent all your money on redacted? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's like they're teasing new ship, mm. but they uh, they didn't want you to know the name. Ah, okay, I see. Yeah. That's I'm hey, that I'm to me is here. like they didn't even redact that. That was never redacted. No, but no. All right, GG. Oh, you lost? Yeah. Oh, and no, no respawns. I mean, no, I mean, like, yeah, you, you didn't, you didn't have like an extra life or something. No, did you? Yeah, I think instead of brimstone, my devil deal had nine lives in it. You know what? No, finish it, cause I'm gonna I'm gonna pog to the moon here. Do we play the same seed though, or just go? Um, what do you think? No, let, no, no. I think if you die, you're gonna need a little extra help. You know, a little extra help by having the same seed. By having no different seeds. How would maybe that... I'll get like, hey, maybe I'll get like <laughs> three shovels. Wouldn't it be helpful for you to know where all of the uh, items are and what they are in the bosses? And no, I don't think so. All right. I like to I like to live my my life on the roll of a dice. <laughs> Wouldn't you? I mean, like, submit. No, honestly, this is like no memes. I'd rather have a chance at a shovel and catch up. Mm. Than... Okay, that yeah, I could understand that. I suppose. Like you, or get. I'm I'm being you was. I'm being incepted. By the way, you didn't have uh, brimstone. That was just a. Uh, that was a ruse. Yeah, it was a. Ruse. That was the play action. No, the play action was I already beaten Mom, but I had, hadn't even seen Mom yet. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, realistically, I could actually die on this one for sure. Like, yeah, it's, yeah. I it's mean, possible. like, it is. What, how? How? What's your? What's your H at? Okay, when I said that originally, it was at one, but then I picked yeah. up an item and play acted you. I'm now at uh, five. <laughs> what item gave you five? Pajamas. Blue hearts, though. Yes, but that's the only hearts I've had like for the whole run. Uh, did you take Death Touch? I did, yeah. Uh, how did you get in there? Um, I don't even know where it was. Where was it? 
Chad got mad at me because I re-rolled that touch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you know, what do you want me to do? The, the, the bar was there. It, was, it wasn't mom's knife. Like... This is my first ever Isaac race, dot, space, dot, space, dot. That's why I want to no. give you a little head start for a second to... Make... No, no, that's it's good. It's good. That's my real bait. Oh, okay. Your real bait. That'll, that'll be the first race. My second race will be racing against streamer with 10,000 yes. hours in Isaac. We hustled world's best Isaac player, question mark. <laughs> and then, I just... <laughs> whether you win or lose... And whether I'm uh, the best player in the world or not, the question mark does all the heavy lifting for you. Exactly. <laughs> um, what's your confidence at right now? My confidence that I will beat the lamb is like 97%. Okay. I'm in a, a very good spot. I got some strong items. Uh, my confidence that my confidence is correct is low. Okay. But my confidence that I win is high. Okay. I will say this, though. The the other thing that we didn't read in the bylaws is that it is a three-game series. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that that was the, that was redacted, actually. Dude, I'm... Oh, um, oh, oh no. More Isaac content? Oh, jeez. <laughs> I don't know if I can play that much Isaac. Hey, um... You should download the Eddie mod. What is the Eddie mod? The Eddie mod turns the icon of the Eddie rooms into a, a picture of Eddie. <laughs> On the map? Yeah. That's that's really good. That's very funny. It's uh, probably my favorite current mod. You, you, I feel like in your, historically speaking, you have not even dipped your, your pinky toe in the mod pool very much. My opinion... Um... It, it's you're gonna get me in a little bit of trouble and yeah. I, really I'm gonna get me in a little bit of trouble okay. you're just gonna ask the question and I'm gonna be stupid enough to answer it okay. most of the time I feel like in a game like Isaac that's like meticulously uh, balanced and stuff like that I've been skeptical to add mods that change gameplay which i understand yeah. obviously like the pog mod and the eddie mod or not yeah <laughs> just because of the fact that it's like hey you know i guess in my head it's the idea that like hey the person who came up with this game thought that this was like the perfect iteration uh and they got like a team of people that are working together to make sure that that's true as true as possible but then one person is like um <laughs> hey wouldn't it be cool if there was like an item that was like brimstone but like better and then you know but that being said, there are situations, first off, there are mods that are awesome, like, uh, you know, anti-birth to begin with, that led to repentance. But secondarily, there's also situations like uh, DS Fix, where, you know, like From Software and Bandai Namco uh, came out with Dark Souls Prepare to Die Edition on PC, and it was, like, horrible. And uh, then... Durant was not Kevin Durant. Kevin? <laughs> KD Money Sniper on Instagram? <laughs> Dur maybe it's Durante <laughs> now that I think about it, but he like uh, made it like in, in a couple of days. He was like, oh, by the way, guess what? Like it's 60 FPS now and uh, uh, is good instead of bad, which is uh, I, I thought was kind of noteworthy. So, but I mean, but you, you already got your real thoughts out there. Your real thoughts are. Like, it's like, hey, someone made the perfect artisan marbled ribeye, and you're like, oh, I can make one better. Yeah. No, with my homebrew. Kind of, yes. Ant farm. But there are situations where it happens. I'm not denying that. Yeah. No, I'm with you. I feel the same way about mods, and, like, I'm, I'm just... I love how easy it is to mod this game, but I, I'm the same way. I don't think I thought like that, um... How do you say arrogantly about it? But uh, <laughs> I, I'm just joking. No, that's um, fair. No, no, I don't. I don't think that at all. Um, I don't want to change the gameplay. I just like I like the little cosmetic stuff. Yeah, you know. I, I, and honestly, like Pog mods seem super cool, or just funny, which is basically what I would want. Um, oh, I have Guppy's eye. I shouldn't be. Doing no, but that. it's the same way. It's like because then I feel like you're not playing. Like the uh, the achievements are not real, and then you know. Yeah, and there's so much, I mean, like, I haven't discovered everything in the game yet. 
much yeah. less like how everything interacts with everything and like you just and people are like you know I, I it, it all comes back and I don't want to go off on a rant on this so I'll stop myself when it becomes a little bit too much but people I think like kind of suck at uh, giving criticism some of the times and uh, it, it leads to situations where it breeds resentment for things that there shouldn't be. Like one of the reasons that I'm kind of like not anti-mod but just like I get annoyed with the question is because people phrase it like why don't you ever use mods? And I'm like we're living in ever right now. You don't know what ever is going to be like or you know will you ever use mods? And I'm like I don't know the future but I do know every time someone asks me this question it, it moves it like another uh, six months down the road. Yo, I just got my first Chico stick room. <laughs> what is Chico stick? It's that gum that uh, fruit fruit by the foot gum. It's like by Wrigley. It's on the floor. <laughs> it's on the floor. Yeah, in the room. Chico fruit stripe fruit stripe Chico stick gum. Chick fruit stripe. Chico stick. Oh, you, a planetarium. Yeah, oh. I don't know how I got it, Yo, but I got it. What'd you get out of it? Um, Was it you, did Pluto? you get a slice of Uranus? Excuse me? <laughs> Pluto. I don't even know what Pluto is. It's uh, the Disney character. Ha ha ha. From, from the Netflix uh -huh. show? <laughs> Yo, speaking of Netflix shows, there's... Uh, they're redoing He-Man. Oh yeah. Which I was like a big He-Man kid. And uh but I I tweeted this, but I learned at the age of my age, not when I was a kid, <laughs> He-Man's cat is called Cringer. <laughs> How did that pass? QA. That is good stuff. Alright, Dan, I have I have entered the chest and I have watched the ending for the game. Okay. I have I GG. Have, I have GG, GG. Thank you well, for you, the, you, the you asterisk take the first on one. that one. one you take, just, you, yeah, it's a long, it's a long series. One zero. Okay. All right, now I got, now I got my sea legs. 